the capacity matching in RealSoft project juxtaposes the required resource demand against the existing resource supply at the level of professional qualifications. Since the available work capacity relies exclusively on data from the resource pool, establishing a resource pool is crucial for capacity matching. We access the resource pool via the menu item Properties Resource. In the Calendar tab, we have defined the working hours of the personnel resources, including weekends and holidays. For more information, please refer to Video 02 Role-Based Resource Planning. In this video, we also defined the professional roles of the personnel resources. We switch to the Employee tab and record all employees who may be relevant for the projects. A new employee can be described in both the upper table and the lower form with first names, last names, and so forth. We first enter the first name and last name of the first person, for example, Martin Sampleman, in the table. We leave the calendar column blank, which means that employee Sampleman does not have his own calendar and works according to the project calendar. By the way, you only assign an individual calendar to an employee if they have special working hours, such as part-time work. If you want to assign a calendar to an employee for a specific period, click on the three dots in the Shift Calendar column. First, select the period in the calendar area, then choose a suitable calendar from the list. Now we move to the non-working days column. Here you can enter non-working days such as vacations, training, or sick leave for an employee by clicking on the three dot area and marking a period in the calendar. You can also mark the type of leave with a letter, for example, H for vacation. In the role qualification column, we assign a professional qualification to employee sample man. Other employees with their names, first names, and possibly further information can be imported from a TXT file in a predefined format. For more information on the import file, see Create and Customize Personnel, RealSoft Project 9 Documentation. An employee can take on multiple roles, such as Mr. Diligent, who can work both as a designer mechanic and as a designer electrical. Now we have defined the resource offer through the resource pool, including the skilled workers with their professional qualifications, working hours, and non-working days. Then, we confirm the changes in the resource pool with OK. In the second step, we calculate our resource demand. We open a sample project that consists of three subprojects. All processes have already been assigned the professional roles required for the tasks. The Balance Employee column indicates that the effort planned in professional qualifications is not yet covered by the available personnel resources. We can view a summary of the resource demand in the Roles Resource view. Here, we see how many person hours we need for a role overall or distributed over the timescale. If we click on Plus, we can understand for which tasks this professional qualification is needed. That we have not yet assigned employees to the project tasks can be discerned from the empty personnel resource view. But for a capacity matching, we already have the necessary information. We click in the Employee Capacity view. This view gives us a quick overview of covering the personnel needs in the project and shows a potential surplus or shortage of personnel resources. Here, it's about matching the calculated resource demand in professional roles with the actual situation. So, with the resource supply and getting answers to the following questions. Are there enough employees available who can take on the desired roles? And how are they available in terms of time? In the event of a shortfall for a needed role, it is displayed in the diagram in red color and with the indication of the missing number per unit as a negative amount. Thus. RealSoft project signals to us that we have three shortfalls cases. For the role of designer mechanic, we are missing eight person hours on May 10th th. Then for the role of software developer, a total of 24 person hours on three days at eight person hours each. And for the role of project manager, we are missing eight person hours on May 17th th. Should employees not be deployable at a point in time because their roles are not needed, this overcoverage is displayed in blue color as a positive amount. We can also have the capacity matching displayed graphically by selecting the resource diagram in the Start, Additional View area. When we click on the purple line at the top, the resource diagram shows the summed values of resource demand and work capacity on the calendar scale. When selecting one of the professional roles in the table, such as Designer Electrical, 
we can read the required number per unit of this resource in the graph in the form of blue bars. The green line shows us the available number per unit of employees. If the green line, the supply of employees, is above the blue bar, the demand for employees, there is a personnel over coverage. We switch to the role of software developer. Here, the green line runs through a blue bar, indicating a personnel shortfall, which is displayed as red bars. We click on plus at the designer mechanic. In our resource pool, we have only one employee, Mr. Diligent, who can be deployed as a designer mechanics. Mr. Diligent has a vacation day on May 10th. By the way, we can display other information by marking the appropriate options in the Human Resource Capacity Planning Format Register under the Show block, such as the Activity Chart. Thus, we can understand to which processes Mr. Diligent can be assigned based on his professional qualification. Now we click on Plus at the Software Developer. We have an employee, Mr. Whiteman, available, who can perform the role of software developer. The undercoverage of 24 person hours arises because two tasks overlap during the period from May 24th to May 28 ND. With the period option turned on, RealSoft project marks a time frame within which we can move a process. Thus, we plan to start the software task on May 29 RD. To eliminate the undercoverage for the designer mechanic, we move the designer mechanics task to the right. One day is suitable here. If we start the analysis task one day later, the shortfall conflict is also resolved for the project manager role. The proposed personnel assignment can be adjusted or confirmed. In the employee capacity view, you have two variants of resource assignment available. A click on a task and assign the employees to the task in the task property window on the employee tab. Or click on the employee in the table and mark the listed processes from the project plan in the resource property window on the activity tab. Detailed instructions can be found in the video 04 underscore personnel deployment planning.